Hey guys, great to be praying together over this Lent period and um, thinking about corporate prayer particularly, whether that's our Tuesday morning prayer meeting, whether that's praying with one another on Sundays, whether that's prayer in our gospel communities, whether that's prayer in running partners, whether that's prayer in our households, um, whether that's prayer when we bump into one another in the street and have a, a need on our, on our mind and heart. We really want to be thinking about uh, prayer as a whole, but also really focusing in on, the, on uh, Mike Betts' book here, um, The Prayers of Many, and thinking about some of the key images used in the book to describe corporate prayer. The first one, uh, we find a story in 2 Kings chapter 3, whereby um, there's this, uh, this, this uh, situation where Elisha the prophet gives instructions to the people of God to dig ditches, and God promises that without wind and rain, he will fill those ditches um, with water to keep them from um, dying of thirst. And it's very vivid as we think about um, prayer and praying together with this kind of thing uh, in mind. It's, it's the idea that there's something that we do at times in preparation for when God moves. But there's something about us praying together where we are uh, preparing the way. It's a bit like John the Baptist who prepared the way for the Lord. Us taking time to pray and seek God together. It's like digging ditches. We're preparing the way. We're, we, are, we are doing something whereby when God moves and God pours out his spirit, um, there's something in which, in which that water, that living water can, can be held. Um, you see, the promises of God makes the labour bearable. It is labour to pray. It's work praying together. But when we know God is going to do something, when we know that God has promised that he will pour out his spirit, when we know that God has promised that it's his desire that no one should perish, and we, we live with these promises, we go, no, fine, I'll, I'll gladly roll up my sleeves, I'll, I'll gladly labour, I'll gladly pray, I'll gladly um, put the work in, because I know that it's going to pay off. I know that it's not futile. Work is fine, but when it's futile, when there's nothing to show for it, when there's nothing at the end, that is deeply discouraging. Well, hallelujah, when it comes to praying, the promises is that God will um, give us what we uh, ask him for, that we will find what we're seeking for, and that the doors that we are on, knocking onto will be opened. Now the reality is, is until, if you think about the whole idea of digging ditches and moving earth, you know, it could be that some of you are thinking, I can only, I've only got a teaspoon, you know, it doesn't really, uh, uh, doesn't really amount to much. And perhaps others of you are a bit more the sort of JCBs, you know, you're the kind of the, you're, 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 you're real earth movers. But at the end of the day, the Lord doesn't judge us for our particular capacities and things. He simply wants us to be faithful with what he's given us. He simply wants us to, to throw ourselves really in uh, entirely, wholeheartedly, with whatever measure he has given to us. We can't deny that the more, the more people dig, um, the more ditches will uh, be dug. It's pretty straightforward, really. We know that our ditches, our digging of ditches, our praying, in and of itself, doesn't change things. But what it does do is that it, it prepares the way, it paves the way for God to move. Only God changes things. Only God can change someone's heart. Only God can change a situation that is beyond all hope. And so, but we recognise that that somehow we do partner with Him. There is this synergy. That there is this working together in our praying. Uh, with God, so let's be encouraged with this idea. Let's 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 let, let's finish um, this little uh, reflection on prayer with uh, the fact that God made it very clear: there'll be no wind and there'll be no rain, but nevertheless the ditches will be full. There'll be there'll be no way you can simply describe by natural occurrences what God does with our prayers. We will all we will all say that we prayed and God did it. There's no way on earth any of us could have done that. This is way beyond um, simple human ability. We're expecting God to move in remarkable ways. Let's go for it over this length period, guys.